Uh, so kind of before you start getting going, um, it's easier to put the tail on first. So uh, just put it in. You're gonna make sure that it gets nice and snug down there. You wanna make sure the tail goes that way, goes facing up instead of down, uh, or else Fritz looks like he's um, very scared. Uh, yep, so just kind of before you start anything, make sure you get that, that set in place will be easier. So you're gonna start with the uh, ankle guards. Make sure the piece is on the outside, make sure it's not inside out. After you get the, those on, make sure you put the shoes on first because you can't uh, put the rest of the suit on without the shoes on. Then we'll start with the body seat. Clothes, uh, loose, nice and loose, uh, stuff that you don't mind getting sweaty. No tank tops, just because the uh, body odor, the sweat gets into the suit more easily. Um, make sure you do wear socks. Um, other than that, shorts, definitely a must. Shirts, like, loose, loose fitted. Okay. Alright, so we'll start with the body suit. Alright, easy peasy, you'll just step in one at a time. And then you have your uh, handler zip that up for you. Alright, next piece is going to be the onesie. Just like the fat suit, you're just going to step in one at a time. Just like that. Go ahead and slip it over your shoulders. Your handler will also be able to help with that as it kind of starts to limit your mobility a little bit more. Get it over there. There's going to be a zipper. And then you'll uh, do the buttons. Make sure your hair doesn't get caught. Alrighty, so then after the onesie, we're gonna go back to the pants. Um, again, they're just gonna slip on. Make sure your handler kind of stands behind you, because uh, once you kind of start getting that tail in, um, it's gonna wanna go a million different places, so we'll start slipping those on. And then just kinda, yep, make sure you get that all set. Get it on. All right, so the tail, where the pants have suspenders on the back, so I'll have the handler hand you the suspenders first because it helps hold the pants up. There's going to be two buckles on the front. There's that one right there and then that one right there. As soon as the handler's kind of done getting the tail all set, there's going to be a strap that comes from behind. Go ahead just like that, just kind of like a belt. Um, and yep, make sure they tuck in all those box straps because they will show under the jersey. And this would be good too for a handler to help also with the feet to make sure that the yep. stirrups are on. That one actually looks like it is. Yep. It's the other one too. That. Perfect. Just helps if you're jumping or moving around a lot. It makes, makes it a little easier. It's easier for the handler to take it from the back and just go oh, slip into it because we don't have much mobility with our shoulders or arms. So reaching up is kind of a hard thing. So make sure that's all set. Um, as a handler, um, just dependent. You might want to safety pin the jersey. Um, just kind of depends, but it looks like it's sitting kind of nice. So, uh, yep. Then we'll move to the feet. Um, there's a strap on the inside of the foot. It's very tiny, uh, very short. So that will connect to. Oh, where is it? There it is. That piece. Um, recommended that the performer just does this. It's easier for them to feel around. Um, easier to balance, so you'll just buckle it up right there. Kind of tuck that in, make sure that's all set. We'll just do it with the other foot. Next is the head. Again, um, kind of in preparation, you want to start with the chin strap um, going in the right direction, um, kind of on one side of the uh, helmet. There's a buckle right there, a buckle right there, um, as well as on the other side, there's going to be those two buckles. Um, once the head is on, and you'll see this later, uh, there's going to be four straps, uh, one on each side that are going to buckle in the front, back, side on the shoulders. Um, so as soon as the performer gets it on, let them get the chin strap um, on. And then as soon as they have the chin strap buckled, the handlers can go ahead and go around and strap those in. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that.
Okay, so one of the rules is that Fritz can't talk um, once Fritz is in costume, so Fritz's head is on. So at this time, at this point, Fritz isn't talking. If at any point Fritz needs a break, Fritz will do the following motion to let people know they need a break and we would immediately remove the head so they can breathe and provide direction. Um, you can see handlers are now tucking in and snapping. It'll be easiest if you go that way, you can see it's right there. So sometimes it's easier just to lift up the jersey, tuck your hands through. And that, this again is where it's really important for the handlers to assist in prepping. And this is where they're going to adjust the main because obviously in there in the main is where our uh, performer is able to see out of. We want Fritz's main to still look natural. Then we're also going to do the hands. You'll notice that on the hands we have um, on the hands one button that comes out and then a lot of innies. So it's easiest to pick the out first and to clip that on and then to follow around. This again is where it's nice to have two handlers. It just makes for a quicker process because then they can split up. So at this point, Fritz is all suited up and ready to go. Again, you might need a brush, you might need a safety pin. This is where you'll ask Fritz, Fritz, are you feeling okay in the costume? Thumbs up, we're good to go. Um, and then we'll move. Okay, so we're gonna do the unsuiting next. Um, first, I do wanna point out, we talked earlier when we were costuming about how important it is to tuck in straps. You can see here to the side, one of our straps has already come out. Our performer is never going to notice that. First off, because they have limited mobility, and second off, because they're trapped in a suit. Um, so this is where the handlers really have to pay attention. Um, and if they need to, you know, oh, Fritz, turn this way, and then casually tuck it up and in. Fritz, you're looking good, all right. But now we're gonna go ahead and de-suit. Um, so we're gonna move in the same order we did before. If we take off the hands, then the performer themselves will be able to join us because they'll have a little bit more mobility. And then next we're gonna take off the head so they can breathe because your breathing really is limited in the costume. And then I'll let our, once, once the head, off, head is off, our performer will take over narrating what helps. Oh, fancy seeing you here. All right, yep. Pretty much just go in the order that we came. Gonna take the jersey off, slip these shoes off. It goes a lot faster when you're taking it off. There's that. All right, go ahead and buckle the suspenders, buckle the tail. Slip that off as gracefully as you can try. All right, there's that. Got the buckles or the yep, buckles in the zipper. Pretty much right where you started. Like that, all right? And then after that, it's going to be the handler's responsibility. Make sure all pieces, including the foot guards, uh, to be put back into the bag, back to the closet, hung up, for breeze, uh, and make sure the performer isn't seen. There it is. <laughs> 